This is Jesse with another unboxing board games. This time we're looking at Ninjago by Lego. Now Ninjago combines Lego bricks with spinning tops or fighting tops and collectible card games. Got a character card with power levels and different uh, action cards, weapons, things like that. So when you go to play, you're going to spin the, the tops. Ninja, go! Okay, so the white ninja just knocked this skeleton off of his spinning base. <laughs> the white ninja is still going, but see the base here has this this part that spins on the inside, and as that spins, you can see there's a mechanism below it that's going to push the character off of this central stand. There's also some arrows that you've got to line up on on the base. So I've got an arrow on the the central part that spins around and an arrow on the on the base which you can kind of barely see if I get the glare on it. You put your character on there and you give them a weapon as this spins and gets hit by another character he's gonna torque off of his base and pop up fall off when a character loses a match he loses the weapon that he was using to the other player the ninja lost his weapon in the in the battle but since he didn't lose the battle by getting knocked off of his base he gets re-equipped I just make sure that he's securely on his base because they do kind of get knocked around without falling off completely. And play continues to the next round by picking another weapon from the character's collection. They start out with three. And we have another match. Ninja, go! Yeah. Now you see sometimes the, the match ends in a draw that way where neither character gets knocked off of their base. So we can take them back and make sure he's on there. I can even decide to, to change weapons if I want. I'm going to give him this ninja sword. And I'm readying my throwing star card that I can throw at the other player to try to knock him off his base or just disrupt his spin. The skeleton player is readying her flame pit card that if my white ninja touches it, he loses the match. Ninja, go! Ooh, nice. So the white ninja spun right across the flame pit card, so he loses that match and loses his weapon to the other player. Now I've got to choose one of my my existing weapons and rearm him for the, the next round. Ninja, go! Oh! They both fell off. <laughs> what you got? Win if both characters fail. Uh, she won that round. Nice. So she gets my golden weapon and can take her weapon back. And her spinner. And you can try different things like placing the, the weapon in the character's hand such that when he's spinning it tends to stay in his grip better. I can even place the weapon in both hands and maybe even lean the character if I want to, to, to hit him low and not lose my weapon. Ninja, go! Ooh!
So I knock the skeleton off of his stand first, so I get this weapon back. And basically, we're going to keep spinning and, and fighting back and forth until somebody runs out of weapons. Some of the sets, some of the larger sets, create arenas that are more detailed and have more features than, than this simple one here. There's also individual characters that can be purchased separately, and some sets that don't really have anything to do with the game itself. They just develop the, the theme and story behind Ninjago. So that's an unboxing of Ninjago by Lego. For a bonus fight, we're going to use some Series 4 characters just to show you that Ninjago works with, with any Legos. We're going to have the Wolfman and a giant skeleton bone versus the Garden Gnome and his fishing pole. Try to position it so that, like, see how I, I put it back here so that it's further from my hand as it spins, see? Is that I, I normally like use my thumb and a and a finger. I'm not sure how you're doing that. Okay. Wolfman, go! Oh we're gonna have a little rematch. Wolfman, gnome, go! Oh, he lost his bone. And the fishing rod the line fell off of the rod. <laughs>